All right, so we're going to show you how to get the uh, input seal out and put a new one in. So this is the input seal. Um, I put this one in a couple weeks ago. It was leaking. So I went ahead and bought a new seal. Um, this is an all rubber seal. Uh, it's got like a spring on the inside that kind of holds this uh, closed on the, on the half shaft. Um, I went ahead and bought a new one. Uh, this has a green metal shell on the outside um, with a rubber gasket on the inside. Um, I'm going to put this one in. Um, so I'm going to take this one out and then uh, I'll show you how to put this one in. It's pretty easy. Alright, so I'm using a pair of uh, needle nose pliers that are bent. Um, they are from Harbor Freight. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the needle nose up underneath the seal and wedging it only against the seal and popping it out like so okay so uh, I'll get it out I only have two hands so I'll pop it out and then I'll show you how to uh, put the new one in okay so I'll pop this one out um, it's just a rubber seal it has a spring I'm not sure you probably can't see it has a spring inside there. It's right on the edge of the inner. It's that silver uh, band looking thing that kind of holds the inner um, seal against the half shaft. Um, this new one, I don't think, yes, it does. It does have the same spring on the inside. Goes around all the way around, but the outside is metal. So what I do is I clean the surface I clean the surface of where the bearing is going to sit, okay, and then um, I take the bearing and on the outside, on the green part, I put this, okay. This is a Forma gasket seal liquid. It's kind of like a grayish brown liquid um, that I put around the edge of the seal and then um, I uh, put the seal in. So let me put that on and then I'll show you how to put the seal inside. Alright, so it's got a little brush on it and you just want to kind of go around the edges. You don't need a lot, okay? You don't need a lot of this stuff. You just need to coat it so that it's there. Um, doesn't have to be a hundred percent on there. It's just to help with the sealant of the, um, the gasket, okay? So go all the way around. I kind of like put my hands, kind of put my hands on the inside and uh, just kind of stroke it along. You'll have some brush strokes, but that's okay. Um, you just want to be able to get a little bit on there. It's kind of sticky, so if you try to play with it too much, um, it's it's sticky and it's gonna stick to your gloves and stuff so okay so what you do I have a one and three quarter socket the one and three quarter socket is for your spindle nut I use the same spot socket to put the spindle nut, spindle nut on um, I use the same one to put the seal in okay so you want to put the rounded edge up and as flat as possible okay and then I have from Harbor Freight, love Harbor Freight because the tools are cheap, um, a one pound hammer. It is a rubber mallet, it's got some sand on the inside, okay? You put the socket right on the top, okay? And then you want to slowly Never leak ever unless the um, the gasket around the half shaft goes, but it won't leak around the edges. Okay, that little rubber liquid rubber gasket stuff is uh, they use it on airplanes, and uh, you want to clean it off as you go so it's not splurting all over the place. Okay, it is sticky. It'll not leak around the edge at all. Okay? You 
can just use your finger. You want to get it flush. No more than flush. So run your fingers around the edge. You want to kind of like feel it, see what areas you want to work on. A little bit more than others. You need it to be as flat as possible. Flatter the better. I got that rubber uh, liquid rubber on uh, Amazon, so you can just look up that name, uh, and I I bought it. I got it within a couple of days. Okay, that's how you do it. So it's in. That's what it's gonna look like once it's done. Okay, nice and seated, and it has that little rubber liquid rubber gasket on the outside rim, so that that's never gonna leak okay um, all right so any questions you can ask me